Hi everyone. So we're continuing the, the creation of our structured bodice and now that we've um, made our muslin and um, checked it and our patterns work, we're ready to start cutting our fashion fabric. Okay, so what I have here right now is the fashion fabric I'm going to use and also the interfacing that's going to go behind the fashion fabric. Okay, so I'm using um, this interfacing. I have two layers of, of it here. Okay, I'm using this interfacing called Hairform. All right, it's kind of a, I believe this is the medium weight and it's a little stiffer. And I really like this because it gives the um, fashion fabric a lot of structure, which we need for our uh, sleeveless, strapless um, bodice. And it also helps a lot with um, kind of hiding, you know, we're going to end up boning the lining. And so this really hides um, kind of the ridges that the boning can make. So this is a great interfacing. All right. And then here's the fashion fabric I'm going to be using pull that out okay so we're ready to lay out our patterns now now I know that this is folded right sides out and typically when you cut your fabric you want right sides together so the wrong sides facing out but I kind of want to see this kind of pattern that was on here so when I go to lay my patterns on here I can kind of see where I want it um, so and again here I have the salvages of my interfacing so that my um, lined up and then I've actually lined up the salvages of this. This is a folded edge, but I know this is on grain because I lined up my salvages. This is a very wide piece of fabric. And I want to use the print over here. I didn't want to cut off my salvages. So I have that lined up so I know it's all on grain. And now I can go ahead and lay out my patterns. So I kind of like this design right here. And I kind of want it just kind of in the upper part of my bodice and I'm kind of going down. So I think right about like that. And then this as well here and I kind of put this is my front princess panel it's going to end up sewing on the sides and I know this is not going to be perfect but I think it's pretty good to what I want pretty pretty close to what I want back I'm not too concerned about and then there's my side back I think I'll place maybe I'll switch those two around put that there That's good. Let's go ahead and measure and make sure they're on grain. And then we can pin and cut this all out. That's good. And for the next one, now it's very important that all the patterns are on grain. You don't want any roping to happen or twisting or strange bending to happen at your seams. So we want to make sure that light grain is sewn to light grain. And this interfacing I'm using, the hair form, is great. It's kind of a, I think it's a medium weight. It's, um, stiff but not too stiff and so it adds great structure to this um, bodice that's going to be a sleeveless strapless bodice and it's also great kind of hides a lot of show through so the boning will be on the lining layer and um, will really help just kind of hide the ridge that the boning can make sometimes and keep it from showing through Again, it's important to remember that when you cut your fashion fabric, it's important to cut the interfacing with it at the same time because then the interfacing is cut exactly like the fashion fabric was cut and they'll go together easier. You can underline or interface that fashion fabric easier and they'll be easier to match up and less issues in the long run. All right, so we've pinned it all on. Now we're ready to go ahead and cut it out. I'm just gonna do a quick rough cut because there's a lot of fabric here and this will make it easier 
cut these out. If I just kind of cut out the small section. There we go. And we'll get all this fabric out of the way. And this interfacing as well. Okay, we're ready to cut this out. Let's go ahead. Remember when cutting, if you're right-handed, keep whatever you're cutting to the left of your scissors. And if you're left-handed, keep whatever you're cutting to the right of your scissors. That way you can see exactly what you're cutting. Also, don't lift anything up off the table. Keep your scissors resting on the table. And all you're doing is pushing them forward and opening and closing them. Okay, let's not forget to notch everything. Remember to notch all, where all your stitching lines come to the cut edge. And then also any important notches, whether they be directional notches or notches that tell you how to, um, which two um, patterns line up, anything like that. Make sure you notch it. Always make sure you notch your center front at the bottom and at the top. All right, there they are. So all our fashion fabric is cut out. Now we can prep it to be sewn. So let's go ahead and unpin everything. So we only need one of these. I cut two because I didn't wanna, it was just easier since everything was laid up in two. And then here is fashion fabric. I like this one better. So that's going to lay right on there. All right, so we want to go ahead and interface all our fashion fabric with our hair form. So we're going to lay our fashion fabric right on top, like so. And then I'm going to pin baste around the edge of these about every three or four inches. So, and this will hold it in place because we basically want that interfacing in the fashion fabric to be like one piece of fabric and then we'll go ahead and run a diagonal basting stitch through it all as well. And let's go ahead and do all the other ones the same way. So. All right, everything has been pin basted together. Now we're going to go ahead and do a diagonal basting stitch through each of these panels just to help everything stay in place when we start sewing it. So let's go ahead and grab a needle and thread. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and baste these together. I have my needle and thread. We're going to do a diagonal basting stitch. So how I'm going to do this is at the bottom, I'm going to take a stitch that's about a half inch. Be sure not to put a knot at the end of your thread because this is meant to be pulled out, so don't knot anything. And where I took that first stitch, I'm going to take another stitch in exactly the same place. That will lock my stitches in. And this stitch is easy to pull out, and then you can pull out the rest of your basting stitches once the garment is together. From that point, I'm going to move up about three inches and just take about a half inch stitch, going from right to left, like so. And then from there, another three inches and continue doing so. Okay. And this is di the diagonal basting stitch. And it's a great stitch for basting fabric together. And you want to make sure that these stitches aren't too small. You want to keep them about two, three, four inches apart. Because if you get closer than that, if you start doing smaller stitches, you're no longer basting, but you're sewing. And this is something that is not meant to be permanent and we want to take out. So let's go ahead now and we're going to baste 
all of our panels with this diagonal basting stitch. All right, there it is. Everything has been basted and prepped. Okay, so all these pieces are ready um, and prepped. So in the next video, I'll be, we'll start sewing this together. All right, everyone, see you there.